I know, I know, you guys have been probably busy playing with the Ford app or many other cool things that Tesla added, especially in their latest version 9, that everybody kind of forgot that there's one very important safety feature that's been missing from Tesla cars all along. And I've been complaining about it for a very long time because pretty much all other cars already have it until this week um, in the relatively rare update to the version 9 software and tesla hasn't been really rolling out uh, those uh, in a while i think apparently there are two features coming up uh, one with the folding mirrors but i'm not going to bore you with that i don't think it's that big of a deal though also an easy one to add but another one is uh i believe it's called the um blind spot warning and i you, you know if you own any of the car except for tesla and it's relatively uh, recent you know that feature is pretty much there not only that not only there is an audio warning uh, when you're just about to smash a car next to you if you're trying to change lanes and someone's in your uh, blind spot um, there's also little lights on the mirrors right so it will light up uh, yellow kind of a warning or red when you really definitely should not be changing lanes and i love that uh, by the way just in case if you're wondering why i am not in my studio i'm actually just about to fly out of uh, san francisco airport to spain where i'll be test driving finally the audi e-tron finding out a little bit more about the car itself you know obviously being able to bring that report to you guys also, just kind of finding out about their plans here. They're just about to unveil their third electric car during the Geneva Auto Show, which I'm still not really sure if I'm going to be going to, but nevertheless. And of course, I'll be asking them what the hell happened with the Super Bowl commercial. What were they thinking? Not sure if they're going to answer that question. But anyway, so I'm flying out. As a matter of fact, the videos that you're going to be seeing in the next few days um, be somewhere from Spain, and I'll try to con continuously update you on all the, all the news. Just, just the background is going to be different, but I guess the change is good. Anyway, well, from Sacramento, where I live, to here, San Francisco uh, Bay Area, I drove in my Volt. And my Volt has that feature, and I really, really like it because, you know, a, a lot of times uh, the, the visual is better than uh, audio. Don't forget, whenever that chime will come in, that, hey, you're just about to smash into a car next to you, if you're talking on the phone, if you're listening to your favorite song, or maybe even not that favorite of the song, but whatever it is that you're listening on your stereo, um, that will be uh, muted and, you know, for the, for the chime to come in, a lot of people will probably be bothered by that. Now, it's still better than what they have now, which is nothing in AP1, but in AP2 now, the, the lane becomes red. Uh, and, I, you know, they just gave us very few information and in release notes today. Uh, but what I think is going to be happening is that when you turn your blinker on and there is a car in your blind spot, it will say boom, meaning like don't smash into it. It's kind of like having a really good friend sitting in the passenger seat saying, hey, dude, don't do it right now. Um, but there will be nothing uh, visual, I have to say. I would still prefer if they had some, some warning, a big um, visual warning either on your dashboard uh, a screen or your main screen where you can still see it since it's not like they can just you know add the lights to uh, the mirrors now by the way before i go any further i just want to remind you guys that this video and this channel is sponsored by starmangifts.com the home of this awesome the adventure of starman if you still don't own a copy well shame on you first of all but if you want to relive the launch of the uh, falcon heavy and if you're a big fan of elon musk and and, and spacex this one's for you. Uh, there's a discount code in the description of this video. There's also a link. This is the only way you can actually get a discount on this and everything else that they sell at StarmanGives.com. So check it out. Anyway, so um, now I don't quite understand why it took such a long time, which is about, what, five, six years now for Tesla to come up with this uh, simple feature. Um, you know, they've done quite a few different fun things, including the farting app. But as a former software engineer and, you know, I'm not an expert on, uh, you know, electric car development software, but nevertheless, it seems to me that it would be easier to do this since they already have sensors, since they already know when the cars are around um, your car to simply make a noise uh, and a quick, you know, chime or whatever it is it's going to be, rather than come up with a farting app. I'm just saying. Uh, there are quite a few other things that are on my, you know, wish list for Tesla that it would be nice to have that, you know, I have in my vault and, you know, my friends have it in their, uh, in their cars. Uh, but baby steps. I'm glad it's coming out. I'm still interested to see what it's going to be, how it's going to detect. You know, for example, maybe it's not just a blinker when you turn it on and off, but also when you're getting really close to the lane and then there's a car right there, maybe it will give you that warning 
in that case as well. Nevertheless, you know, kudos to Tesla to finally getting it out. Let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think? One, is this an important feature that you will actually, you know, need? Um, is it something you've been missing or do you think this is nothing, it's not a big deal and you would rather have had the farting app all along and this is just kind of an afterthought and just kind of a nice to have update. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I'll see you guys from Spain and remember to stay charged.